Five kilo in one seven zero degrees, two knots on a three four two kilo. Hey Paul, hey Daryl, hey Andrew, how's it going? What's up? What's up? Happy Wednesday, halfway through the week. How good's that, man? Happy Wednesday, dude. Hope you're doing well, boys. Hey, Paul, hey, Hope you guys are having a kick ass day, even though it's only just started for some of you. <laughs> Woo, time to chillax and enjoy a little bit of flying, right? Cannot wait till Friday for the new Spitfire to be released. How good's that going to be? The new Spitfire is on the horizon. I might be getting that, so we'll have to showcase it on the weekend, guys. All right, guys, we're just getting ready, and we'll be uh, taking off. We're in Dublin. Sorry, actually, we're not. We're in Ireland. We're in Cork, flying to Dublin. So that's going to be pretty cool. We'll uh, enjoy a nice Irish flight here. In this little uh, CJ4. Andrew, how's it going, my mod? What's happening, champion? I missed you yesterday. I know you were about in and out, but uh, Daryl, you weren't. Uh, you weren't on. I hope you had a good day, buddy. Welcome back today. We had a little bit of excitement with the troll, but uh, nothing we couldn't handle, right? It's always when you're not here, hey. <laughs> Have you noticed? Hey, James, how's it going, mate? All right, let's get going. We from five five in one seven zero degrees two knots on a three four clear to land. Clear for clear to land. We from five five. Crank it up, boys. Let's go. Let's uh, follow this waypoint and then uh, shouldn't be too much of a flight. It's not going to take too long to get there, probably about uh, 25 minutes, half an hour. Hey Ross, how's it going brother? What's happening? Let me just slow down a little bit and just over speed, there you go. I'll be going back on waypoint in a second, Jam. Just sorting something out quickly. Blarney Castle is a medieval go. stronghold in Blarney, near Cork, Ireland. Though earlier fortifications were built on the same spot, the current keep was built by the McCarthy of Muscovy dynasty, a cadet branch of the Kings of Desmond, and dates from 1446. The Blarney Stone is among the machicolations of the castle. The castle originally dates from before 1200 when a timber house was believed to have been built on the site, although no evidence remains of this. 
Around 1210 this was replaced by a stone fortification. It was destroyed in 1446 but subsequently rebuilt by Cormac Ladea McCarthy, Lord of Muscry, who also built castles at Kilcrea and Carrignamoc. All right, just getting back on our waypoint chat. So this is an aircraft that I've only literally flown a couple of times, so I'm just uh, still trying to get used to it. It's a bit of a beast of a jet, little private jet, yeah. Pretty cool, right? Hey Oslin, how's it going? Welcome to the stream, dude. Welcome aboard. Um, yeah, we just taken off from uh, Cork and we're heading up to uh, Dublin. So I thought we'd do a little bit of an Irish flight today, just uh, seeing that we've been hitting Ireland pretty heavy lately and uh, loving these flights. So I'm um, just sorting out my trim right now. Just want to get a bit low over uh, Blarney uh, Castle here so we can uh, check it out. And then I'm going to head, uh, head up to uh, the waypoint. Let's go. We're going to do a manual flight straight the way through. So it should be pretty good. We'll just hug the uh, waypoint all the way up to uh, Dublin from Cork. So we just taken off from Cork about two minutes ago. Happy days. Hope you're all having a great day, by the way. And... Uh, kicking back and we're going to relax and do <laughs> watch a bit of Microsoft Flight Sim. So I've been uh, eyeing up the new uh, Spitfire mod that's uh, just been developed and uh, I should be picking that up around about Friday or Saturday. I think Friday I should have it. So I'll try and get it on for Friday's stream otherwise it'll be on Saturday's stream. That'll be pretty cool. Get in the air with the old Spitfire. to see a couple of players around live weather and live air traffic right now so we've got a few players knocking around we've got three in the area Hey Rob, how's it going Rob? You keeping well buddy? Welcome aboard dude. Welcome to Ireland. Over speed. Over speed. Over speed. Hey Rose, how's it going? Welcome in. Hope you're having a good day there.
I'm on my way to Dublin, dude. On my way to Dublin. Should be a nice little uh, landing here. Just heading up the coast. Uh, sorry, heading up the centre of Ireland. Just taking off from Cork. I'll show you. Put the VFR map on and uh, you can have a look. So we're just taking off from here and we're just heading up. A couple of waypoints on the way and then straight up to uh, to Dublin. So it should be quite a nice little flight, hopefully. I've not flown this aircraft, I think maybe once or twice. So I'm still getting used to it. <laughs> a little bit different to the A320, right? But hopefully we can uh, have a successful landing. will be nice. So all the way to your home airport, brother. Got to love the Irish, champion. Got to love the Irish. Beautiful aircraft, though. So I'm still learning this aircraft chat, so I've just got to try and work out where the uh, automatic speed is. I think that's going to be... Um, actually, let me just see so I can see what I'm doing here. Speed, there we go. So increase airspeed. Autopilot on and just see um, see what it does. There you go. It's following waypoint. Let's see if it sticks to waypoint. Otherwise, I'll disengage. There you go. Altitude. I'm quite happy with altitude right now. I'm flying to Dublin, where your dad was from. Happy days, Rose. A lot of people from Ireland, hey? All around the world. Ireland's got such a big connection to probably a massive portion of people in America as well, especially new around New York and all those cities back in the day. Right. I've even got family from Ireland, but that's uh, Belfast, Northern Ireland. It's uh, not Southern Ireland. Just stick that on. Hey, Jan. Thanks very much for following the pig. Now, welcome in. Thanks for jumping in and supporting Razor Pig. Welcome to the stream. Bit bumpy up here. There you go. Live weather, live air, air traffic at the moment. A little bit cloudy here. Over speed. I'm just going to drop my uh, speed down a little bit. There you go. go. Oh, bit bumpy, bit bumpy. There you go. Overspeed. 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 Let me just try and. Uh, sorry, I'm just going to take this off autopilot at the minute. There you go. Over speed. Over speed. So still learning this aircraft. I'm dropping speed a little bit here. Let me just uh, try and increase that. bit different to the Airbus 320 but I'm all learning this be nice to be able to master this one as well so I can take it out live weather isn't uh, right there's no wind today yeah I think it's more me, <laughs> me flying this aircraft dude um, I'm just getting a little bit of uh, bounce um, obviously I'm just trying to learn some of the co configurations here it's always good to learn on stream no pressure but um, that's what it's about we're all in the, in the same learning process together so here we go so altitude hold mode on. I'll turn that on actually because I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, increase altitude. There you go. Let's go up to 6,000. Actually 5.5 five, and I'll set that. Altitude and speed. Speed set at 407.
Your boy's launching tonight. Happy days, dude. I bet you can't wait. I bet he can't wait. Yeah, fantastic, man. I'm stoked for him. That's going to be unreal. He's going to love it, dude. Is it a way to point to Waterford? I don't know where Waterford is. Um, yes, I can actually fly straight over it if you want. I think I can uh, do that for you. I'll just uh, disengage... Um, or a pilot and I'm sure I can do it. This is what we call um, acting on the fly. Let's act on the fly. There we go. I'm going to go straight in over Waterford. No worries, man. I'll just stick that up in the uh, top corner. Let's take it off uh, autopilot right now. Just looking for my speed. It's virtual vertical speed on. I'll just turn that off. Yep, we're going to go in. I want to go a little bit lower as well, dude. Hey Scoobs, welcome in brother, how you going? Hope you're keeping well buddy. So everyone Scoobs in the house. Hope you, you and the family are doing well my man. Good job on the Spitfire as well buddy, it looked amazing. I'm going to be hopefully getting that on uh, the weekend. It's going to be unbelievable. We'll have to get a whole heap of streamers on board. And do a like a Spitfire memorial flight. <laughs> That'll be pretty clutch. It's always good when Scoobs jumps in, right? Over speed. Over speed. Over speed. All right, we're just heading towards uh, Waterford, buddy. We'll just do a slow uh, flyover, and then we'll carry on with our uh, waypoints. Oh man, Nicholas, I'm getting used to this plane. I haven't really taken it up much. This is like probably the second time or third time I've actually flown it. Um, I much prefer the Airbus to be honest, only because I'm kind of out my depth with this thing. Um, but yeah, look, I mean, it's okay. It's um, it's a learning curve, buddy. So I'm hopefully hopefully not going to fail epically on the, on stream. And if I do, who cares, right? Um, but um, yeah, yeah, it's it's pretty cool. I'm uh, quite enjoying it. There's a lot more, I mean, I mean, the controls looks like you're in a bloody Airbus and it's only a, a private jet, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, it's pretty, pretty intense, like to try and work your way around the cockpit. So I'm a bit uh, green on it at the minute. Yep, we're coming up to Waterford, dude, here we go. Just about to fly over it. Quite a few players around as well, which is nice to see. Enjoying the simulation. Happy um, happy Wednesday to you all, by the way. No, we've only not long taken off, Leon. And, and the reason I'm doing this is uh, we've got quite a few Irish... Uh, um, supporters, um, you know, followers on on stream, so you know that uh, are supporting me. So why not stay in Ireland a little bit and do a couple of little flights? So we're just taking off from Cork and we're just heading up to Dublin. So we're just going over Waterford right now. Look how beautiful this place is, man! It's just absolutely clutch. It's beautiful. Leon, <laughs> always good to see you in the stream, dude.
All right, let's get back on waypoint chat. Hey Chris, good morning to you dude. Hope you're having a good one. Uh, we're heading up to Rose Fitz Fitzgerald Kennedy Bridge right now. Uh, we'll go check that out just up here. Okay, it's a POI point of interest, so let's have a check. Let's check it out. We're probably going to be pretty close to uh, to being there any minute, so probably about another, say, 50 seconds, 40 seconds. We should be flying over it. Daryl coming in with 200 stars, my man. Thank you very much, dude. You're a legend, man. Thanks very much for all the support and um, and uh, being an absolutely unreal follower, right? You're a legend, dude. Thank you. Yeah, it's a little bit of a weird, um, uh, unusual stream for me. I normally start in a big commercial jet and... Uh, have a, have a good little fly around so I just thought I'd take this bird up for a little bit of a test drive and uh, see see what it's all about it's so far so good chat let me just uh, drop my speed a little bit Rose Fitzgerald <laughs> hey Moly Bacon thanks very much for the 19 stars man you're a legend thank you very much for coming and uh, supporting me man The Rose Fitzgerald Kennedy Bridge is an extra-dosed bridge over the River Barrow in Ireland. It was built as part of the N25 New Ross Bypass and was officially opened on the 29th of January 2020 by Taoiseach Leo Varadkar and opened to traffic on the 30th of January 2020, becoming Ireland's longest bridge. The bridge is controversially officially named after Rose Fitzgerald Kennedy, the mother of former US President John F. Kennedy whose ancestors came from nearby Dungenstown. It is also popularly referred to as the Pink Rock Bridge. The 230 meters main spans of the bridge are the longest concrete only extra-dosed box girder bridge spans in the world. The spans are equal in length to the main span of the N25 Shore Bridge in Waterford, and 4 metres shorter the main span of the foil bridge in Northern Ireland, which is 21 metres shorter in total length. Sweet. Yeah, I'm sure it is. It looks quite amazing, uh, Osland. Yeah, it looks amazing there. A wee drink is okay, <laughs> but no drugs. Don't do drugs, kids. Don't do drugs. <laughs> Woo, what a day, chat, what a day. We're halfway through this week, right? Oh, man, is it me or is the week's getting uh, shorter and shorter? Or is it just that I'm getting busier and busier and the days, not enough hours in the days to get everything done, like, you know what I mean? So it's good to actually get to halfway through the week. I'm just, like, heading towards that glorious Friday. Can't wait. Weekend's upon us, man, almost. How good's that? Soon be Christmas. <laughs> Hey, Ross coming in with the 200 stars. Dude, you're a legend. Thank you, Ross. Thanks for all your support, dude. Man, you guys are smashing it. Thanks very much, dude. Much appreciated. I'm just trying to wonder why I can't increase that from 251. Let me just see here. I think I'll have to do a couple of tutorials just to learn about the speed here on this thing. SP 200. Let me just check here. SP 200. Oh, 
Oh, that's not good. Lost oil. That is not good, chat. Thanks very much. Good song choice, eh? We might be playing the Grim Reaper in a minute <laughs> if I don't get these engines cracked up. Yeah, we've lost engine one and two. So I'm just trying to reduce them back up again, guys. I had an oil issue. Here we go. I can hear him. Yeah, we got him. Got him back. Just, just arced out a little bit. Almost had the sweat runs in. Yeah, we can do, dude. Um, I'm going to head up uh, to Dublin. I'm going to keep following the um, the waypoint anyway. And just see how we cruise. What a beautiful country, right? Absolutely stunning. Blessington Lake 2. Oh, unreal. I'm kind of just checking it on um, on my Bush Talk radio as well as uh, Google Maps as I'm uh, flying around. <laughs> so I'm trying to multitask here just to see whereabouts uh, we are. I'll put up my map as well. Let's just check it in game. Just so you guys can see where we're heading to. Rock of, um, is that Cashel? We're heading towards Rock of Cashel right now. And then we're going to be heading up towards Dublin. In 1999, I went to Ireland for a long weekend and came back to the UK in 2003. Dude, that was a hell of a long weekend, brother. Sounds like um, you never wanted to leave. Blessington is very dull, in my opinion. Yeah, Rock of Cashel, that's where we're heading towards now, but... There's quite a lot of low cloud around here, guys. Look at that. Look at how beautiful it is, eh? How can anybody not low island, right? Oh, it's back the other way. Oh, bummer. That's okay. Well, what we can do is, um, yeah, um, send me a, a, a private message, dude. And what I'll do is I'll tee up um, on one of my next streams. Um, I'll tee up a little um, flight to some of the uh, locations that you actually want me to fly to as well. And then I can do some POIs in that in that area. And we can you know, go check them out, dude. That'll be unreal. I'd love to do that for you. I just felt like doing a, um, a flight from... Um, you know, from Cork all the way up to Dublin. And I thought this jet's pretty cool because we can cover it that distance in about half an hour as well. And then we can move on and do some other flights. But um, yeah, dead right. I mean, send me a. Feel free to send me a message and we'll definitely look at it. We can change the weather to a little bit more scenic as well, you know, better weather. Maybe a different aircraft.
Yeah, that's 100%, dude. I'd love to do that for you, dude. And then I can plan it. I can plan my waypoint as well. So um, we can hit some really cool um, locations. I'll try and keep it down to about um, 30 to 40 minutes. Um, and then, you know, we can uh, bounce around and do different uh, content. But, um, yeah, I wouldn't mind uh, spending a bit of time on stream uh, covering a bit of island. Um, it's just a, a place that's always fascinated me. So, yeah, I'd fancy doing it. During the winter months, I worked at Dublin Airport, north side of its uh, of uh, FLS Aerospace. Unreal, dude. Five hundred landing gear. Wow, that's landing beautiful. Gear. The Rock landing of Cashel, gear. also known as Cashel of the Kings landing and St Patrick's gear. Rock, is a historic site landing located at Cashel, landing County gear. Tipperary, landing Ireland. Landing According to local landing legends, gear. the Rock of landing Cashel gear. originated in the landing Devil's gear. Bit a mountain 20 miles north of Cashel when St. Patrick banished Satan from a cave, resulting in the rocks landing in Cashel. Cashel is reputed to be the site of the conversion of the King of Munster by St. Patrick in the 5th century. The Rock of Cashel was the traditional seat of the Kings of Munster for several hundred years prior to the Norman invasion. In 1101, the King of Munster donated his fortress on the rock to the church, the picturesque complex has a character of its own and is one of the most remarkable collections of Celtic art and medieval architecture to be found anywhere in Europe. Few remnants of the early structure survive, the majority of buildings on the current site date from the 12th and 13th centuries. This engine just arced out again, luckily I'm just catching it back. Here we go. Bit temperamental chat. <laughs> not going down yet, Paul. Go not going down without a fight, brother. <laughs> Lucky I had some airspeed cracking on, right? So I just had to restart engines again. That's twice. It doesn't like it when you throttle down to about uh, 15 or 10 or 15 percent. It uh, kind of just decides, yep, I've had enough of that. So I'm um, just kind of keeping an eye on my throttle stick right now, trying to keep it about half. No less. You worked, he, yeah, you worked mainly on Aer Lingus A3, A30s, 330s. My favorite aircraft. Yeah, A Ireland is a great country, dude. Absolutely. It's beautiful. I'm going to do a little bit of third person flying because this is just absolutely lovely scenery right there. Okay, so it's a little bit of a dodgy area, Waterford, is it? Hey? Let's have a look at the VFR. Yeah, we're cruising, chat. We're on waypoint. So we're going to just head straight up here, and then we're going to start our uh, pull into Dublin. So that should be cool, pretty cool. How good is this? Like, literally straight across Ireland. If anyone can raise a can, can what? Land this thing? Or try and get there in one piece? Why do you stream late? Hey, Dennis, because I'm in Australia, dude. For me, it's not late, it's normal. And I work, I do have a, a full time job. How you doing, Dennis? Hope you keep it well, buddy. Yeah, it was just behind us. Do you want to go? Do you want me to go back? Yeah, let's go back. We're going to go check it out for Leon. We'll do a low uh, flyover, right? This is for you, brother. We can do anything. We're in a simulator, right? I must say, this is a really beautiful aircraft. No, it's all good, mate. We're actually not too far away.
Here it is, brother. Coming up. Yeah, I'll try and deal with it with whatever Microsoft uh, Sim throws at me. We've had some doozies, right? We've had some really interesting uh, flights. Um, usually I come out good, but we've had a few uh, laughs along the way, right, chat? Especially night flights with mountains and all kinds of stuff, mate. Remember that one with ice? You put me in a bloody plane, a water plane with no um, heaters in the middle of England's uh, winter. That was uh, unbearable. Couldn't see where the hell we were going. We've had some real good last boys. What time in Australia? Okay, it's now uh, 20 to 9 at night. So I normally stream between nine, uh, 8 and 10 p.m. Uh, five days a week. I normally stream a little bit later on a Friday and a Saturday because being the weekend. But I do have to get up at 5 a.m. for work. Flick around one more time. I'm going to check that out pretty close. Yeah, I do. I do work pretty okay. Um, most of my colleagues would just laugh. They all work hard. Everyone I work with works hard. Uh, you, d you know, you do have a lot of full-time streamers and stuff that um, are on Facebook gaming. So I do this as a bit of a, a bit of a hobby and uh, enjoyment as well. My entertainment. You know, I love doing what I'm doing. Um, I love coming on on here at night for a couple of hours and just uh, really enjoying engaging with you guys and flying the simulator. And I do st stream other uh, content. I haven't streamed a lot of co other content lately. It's just mainly been this. But, um, you know, I will be uh, streaming some War Thunder and stuff like that. And I get that a lot of people probably won't want to see that or be into it. But it's just so I uh, don't get burnt out on just one game. Not that I'm going to at the moment, but... Um, I also uh, just uh, find it important just to have that extra release and, and stream some different content. There you go, mate. How's that? Pretty cool, right? Let's crack on. Right, let me just pull up a little bit, otherwise that guy's just going to be going on and on. How cool was that, guys? Yeah, um, how do I manage to uh, to work-life balance? It's uh, just good time management, I guess. So, uh, you know, three kids, family life, work life, streaming life. Busy life, and it's good. And the one thing I do not want to do, guys, is have streaming as a chore. I don't want to be doing that. I do it as enjoyment, and... Um, and that's what I am uh, currently doing right now. I just absolutely love doing what I'm doing and coming on. The only, like I said before, the only regret is I never did it years ago. Um, and for anybody that's looking at wanting to jump into streaming, dude, just do it. Who cares? Like, just go for it. Be yourself. Don't be something you're not. And I quite laugh sometimes at some streamers. Of, I don't know too much about a lot of the other streamers. Um, I follow some. Um, but, yeah, it's uh, interesting watching others uh, stream. Hey, Collie, thanks very much for following the pig. You're a legend. Welcome in. Welcome to the family, yeah? You know, everyone's got their own style, I guess, and uh, and stuff like that. I just do it because I enjoy it and I love doing what I'm doing, right? Straight down the middle, chat. Landing gear, landing gear. because I've got uh, altitude. Um, there must be like an altitude warning as soon as I hit a certain... Um, height or get too low it's uh, throwing that in all right so we're just going to carry on flying up to Dublin and go and do a landing let's set a 300 let me just check something there 302 I'm going to actually make that 345 let's be cheeky let's pump up that speed
engage autopilot just see what uh, autopilot does because I've been flying it manually the whole way so let's just see if autopilot works okay time to step on it that's right let's put the clutch down let's put that let's put pedal to the metal let's get going Whoa, see that? Autopilot's uh, bouncing me around a bit. That's interesting. Three hundred. I need to set that. I mean, uh, actually, I got it set too high. There we go. Two nine seven. Done. Yeah. Okay. I'm starting to learn it. There's my marker. The blue marker there. 297. That's probably the uh, the max I can go. Yeah, this is a cool plane. Hey, check this in the cockpit as well. Look at the uh, aesthetics and the uh, seating as well. How clutch is that? Look at this. Beautiful stuff. Looks amazing, right? Hello, thanks very much for liking the stream and following the stream. Welcome to the family. But thanks for uh, backing up and following the pig, man. Welcome in. Ah, check it this. I'm not even touching my controls, and the plane's bouncing everywhere. Like, what the hell? All right, let's check it. Overspeed again. I might actually just take that autopilot off. It's not playing very nice on me. It's actually dropping me out of the sky. Look at this. Awesome. I'm going manual. I don't trust autopilot in this chat. It's not playing nice. There we go. Just getting a little bit of speed again. Yeah, um, I think I'll just stay manual. Fly all the way in, guys. Hey Charlie, how's it going? How are you today? Hope you're having a great day. Thanks for coming in and saying hello. Do I like boxing, Razor Pig? Yeah, I don't mind boxing. I uh, sometimes watch a little bit of UFC and stuff like that. I'm more rugby union. Uh, I'm just looking at my stream on the right side. Sorry we're having trouble playing this video. Why is that? Are you guys getting the stream right now? Hey Chris, how's it going man? Hope you're well bud. Just want to ask you guys in chat, are you guys getting the stream okay? No problems with the stream? Because my right monitor has just come up with, sorry we're having trouble playing this video. But that could be Facebook gaming arcing up again. Paul, is that thumbs up for yes? Happy days mate. Just let me know if anything happens in stream guys. Should all be good in the hood. Thank you. So it must be the uh, Facebook gaming uh, page. It's uh, just playing up. That's all good. As long as you said you can see what's going on, chat, then I'm happy. All right, let's just turn into waypoint a little bit. So we're cracking at two four five right now. You love ice ice hockey, yeah? Something I've never got into. I mean, obviously, if you're Canadian and live that neck of the woods, then um, you know what an awesome sport, right? There's a lot of boxing in ice hockey, mate. I'll tell you that now. Yeah, thanks, Andrew. Thanks a lot, buddy.
Yeah, we're doing all right, chat. We're on um, on waypoint, heading okay. I do miss the Airbus, to be honest. I do. That's my favourite plane in the world. Hey, Janae, how's it going? Good morning to you. Hey, am you? How's it going, bud? How's your day, Janae? Having a good one? Good to see you on board. Welcome to Ireland. We're heading from Cork all the way to Belfast. Sorry, not Belfast, to Dublin. Let's get it right. Andrew, was that you sending me stars for the hell of it? Thank you very much, sir. You're a legend. Uh, do it back. No, I'm using a hotel system, buddy. So I'm using... Um, actually, I do use mouse. I do use keyboard. And I use a hotel system. The hotel system I'm using is this here. So that's the throttle system, the X56 Rhino. And that comes with the uh, joystick as well. Which is really up there. It's one of the best ones uh, you can get. There are better ones, like the Thrustmaster, um, which is used uh, and modeled on the, um, I think, the, the A10 Warthog. Uh, but it's a really good system to use in all simulations. But I just cannot justify spending a thousand US dollars for a control system. Yeah, it is a really good controller. Really, really good. I'm happy with it. It comes with four different um, interchangeable springs as well. So you can actually have the joystick with different tensions and feel. Um, the shorter the spring, the. Yeah, I think the shorter the spring. The more tension it is, something like that, yeah. The longer the spring, the less tension. A lot of players up. Everyone wants to be over Dublin today. Got four players up here. Two players behind me. Fantastic. Can you imagine when they release this on Xbox, how good it's going to be? It's going to be players everywhere, right? Andrew, absolutely. If I'm on multiplayer, you'll have to, um, we'll have to get into Discord. I'll give you my Discord link and then we can tee it up, dude. I'd love to do that. And um, we'll hit a multiplayer flight. Um, if you've got the simulation, then you can take control of the aircraft and I'll sit back, relax and uh, co-pilot for you or vice versa. How good would that be? How much was the controller that I have, uh, Dennis? Uh, the uh, X56 Rhino cost me 450 Australian dollars. And that was pretty good. That was the cheapest I could find. But it's, um, it's really sturdy and uh, it's something that's going to last a long time. Janae just getting started 5.50 a.m. there. <laughs> 5.50, I was at work, or just about to get into work. I'll start at 6. What a flight chat. What a way to start the stream, right? Over Ireland. Look how beautiful it is. It's just vast. Absolute green and just picturesque. I love it. Right, what's that little town we're flying over? Let's check that out. Okay. Bolting less. Right. So we're coming up to Dublin, not far away at all. Over speed. Over speed. Yeah, sweet man. We'll have to we'll have to tee it up. We we'll, we can do a, a trial off stream um, test and uh, see how we go, and then definitely put it on stream. 
Uh, can I flip the plane upside down? More than likely, yes. But um, I want to try and get there and land in one piece. Uh, I don't want to crash it right now and spoil the flight. But um, I think I probably could. Fifteen minutes as a crow flies. So it's not too bad. That's actually quite nice doing this flight manually instead of uh, automatic pilot. I must say the automatic pilot in the Airbus uh, 320 is amazing. Right, let's get all the Dub Dublin approach. Dublin approach raise orbit 71 is climbing through 2,900 feet for 6,000 feet. Doing well, chat. Doing well. Maintain present heading in altitude. Expect vectors for DME runway one zero right approach. Raise or pick seven one. All right. Let's have a look at and see if we can uh, tune into tower. Oh, cool, that sounds good, Andy. Yeah, um, I've done one uh, multiplayer flight, which actually was a friend of mine off stream, and uh, I've known him for about 30, 40 years, and uh, it was pretty successful. I really enjoyed it. We did a little bit of a spin around the uh, pyramids in uh, in Egypt, and we took the 330, the little, um, you know, the little uh, light, um, what do they call it, the racing uh, prop. That was unreal. It was really good fun chasing him around. So, yeah, that's something we can do on stream, absolutely. We'd, we'd love to do that. Yep, we can probably get a few in. Definitely. All right, chap, coming in uh, not far to go, and we'll be at, um, at Dublin. There's a plane landing right now. Okay, 
So there's two multiplayer options. Uh, one you can do now, and the other one I think they still got to implement, uh, which is so um, another aircraft um, can join your lobby. Um, what Andrew's saying in chat, and two aircraft or three aircraft can fly around together. Uh, another um, one that they're going to be looking at putting in is a dual cockpit. So a pl another player, you could be on the other side of the planet. You could literally, as you, if you got the game. You can load in with me, and uh, you can co-pilot, and I can pilot, or vice versa. So we can have a share cockpit. That would be pretty good in a like an Airbus. Hey, mid P, how's it going? All the way from Malaysia. Welcome in, dude. Thanks for being here. Hope you're having a great day, buddy. Um, yeah, we can uh, have a look, Andy. Yeah, we can do this. Do something like that. Absolutely, we can give it a crack on stream. I've never done it on live stream, but yeah, for sure. <laughs> Maybe do the pyramids or something, go go fly around there. But so when I get back to hangar, I'll uh, tear it up. Yeah, I'll tell you in a minute once I've landed, buddy. Um, I um, we can select one together, but we can have a crack, eh? We can have a go. We can have a test. How long do I uh, stream each day? Two hours per day. Fridays and Saturdays a little bit longer. I might go three hours a stream. I've uh, got some holidays booked coming up in uh, over Easter, so I might even do some day streaming as well. All right, here we go. Alright, let's get this baby down. So far, so good. We've had two engine outs, and we're still flying, chat. We haven't managed to crash yet. Don't tempt fate, don't tempt fate. What did I just say? I shouldn't have said that. You'd never say that when you're still in the air, right? You know what I mean? Hey, Paul. <laughs> okay, let me just hold it around uh, 135. I think that's a pretty good speed. Coming into Dublin. Do you have a parachute? Oh my god, mate. I reckon, right? I reckon. Just losing a little bit of speed there on full flaps. So flaps to half. That's better. A little bit more speed there. I'll try and hold it at about 160 if I can. That's normally what I bring in at a Airbus 3, 320 at uh, 160. Here we go. Let's line her up. This one's for you, Paul. Dennis. Sure prepare for emergency landing. <laughs> emergency landing, chat. Let's go. Right, let's just drop that nose down a bit. Easy chat, come on, easy. Five hundred. 
160. Beautiful stuff. Getting ready with my um, air brakes. Throttle back, air brakes on. How good was that chat? I can hear a little prop somewhere. That was sweet brother, sweet. Matthew, thanks for jumping in and following the big man. What a legend. just stalled it again <laughs> see the thing is with this uh, jet you got you cannot throttle down too much um, it uh, literally will cut the engines out so you've got to be a little bit careful when you're flying it we've had that twice on this flight luckily we had the speed to have time to restart the engines but that's all good guys that was unreal right let's uh, crack on and we might do a, a dual flight here let's uh, let's get it on um, let's get it cracking let's see what we can do So just bear with me guys while we tear it up. Yeah, no worries. Well, we'll see if we can do it. This wasn't planned. We're just going to do a, uh, a little bit of a... Yeah, let's do the uh, Grand Canyon. I think we'll do the Grand Canyon as a dual flight if we can. I've not done this before. So um, just bear with me, caller. All right, let's uh, find the Grand Canyon, um, see what we can do. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to do a search and send me a friend request. I think that's how it works. Grand Canyon and National Park, right. It's not far from Las Vegas, actually. Just getting coordinates, chat. Give me, give me a second, and then we'll be on our way. All right, so we'll do it at a departure at uh, 1G4. So that's 1G4, Grand Canyon West, Peach Springs. And we'll do a flight over to uh, Hoover Dam and land at uh, KBVU. That's a 12 minute flight and we'll set a waypoint, a couple of waypoints as well, just so I can follow them. We'll stay in the canyon. Mine's still loading. No worries, dude. All set for all players. Let me have a look here. You can fly with anyone. Sorry to ruin your flight plans, Captain. No worries at all, dude. Absolutely no worries at all. I'm a streamer that uh, I can adapt and roll with whatever, dude. Um, and that's what it's about. If um, if you guys as followers or supporters want to uh, roll with something, I'm always happy to adjust my stream to suit. So we're going to do a... Um, are we going to do live weather? Um, I think it's uh, daytime over there now. No, it's not. It's 4 in the morning, so... How's that going to work? It'll have to be, won't it? That's not going to work in the Grand Canyon, will it? If the, at night time. So we might have to do something in Europe. Because it needs to be live weather, live um, air traffic for you to join. So you won't see much at 4 o'clock in the morning.
Yours wants to update. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Uh, do you reckon it'll take long? I can do a quick flight in between. And then we'll do it straight after. I think we're going to have to do a European flight anyway, um, Andrew. So I think he's just doing an update on his simulation at the moment. What about um, something like in Scotland? Maybe we can do a Scottish flight. Yeah, okay, buddy. Well, I might uh, do another quick flight then, if that's okay, if you're going to take a while. Yeah, sure, dude. You know, if you've got the simulation, maybe we can all jump in and do a do a bit of a fly around. That's no problem at all. We can tee that up. All right, let me load something up here and see what i got. Just see here. Hey, Leon, no worries. Hey, take it easy, dude. Have a good one. Yeah, drop the locations in and uh, we'll tee something up, buddy. Have a good one. See you, bud. Right, just give me a second. I'm just trying to see something up. Just kind of caught me on the hop. Let's do a quick 18 minute flight, live weather, um, live traffic. Um, we're going to be heading over to Montreal in Canada and uh, we'll just hit this up. Yeah, thanks Leon. Awesome. I'll have a look at those. Those photos you sent the other day were absolutely, yesterday was unreal. Love them. Absolutely love them. You just have yourself a good day, Leon. Thanks for jumping in and watching the stream, dude. Take care of yourself, bruv. Oh, okay. No worries. Well, we can do... Uh, let me know uh, when your um, upload is finished then and I can change that out. So as long as you've got live players selected um, and the weather you can change to suit. Okay, gotcha. How much is the game? Uh, Dennis, you've got three different versions of this game. If you have a look at my uh, Facebook page, there's actually a photograph of all the aircraft that you get in those three different uh, modules. You get the basic version the middle tier version and then you get the deluxe version and uh, if you just want to enjoy flying a few planes you know probably the uh, the basic version might suit I went for the deluxe version but okay snow what's happening here that's interesting Sorry about that, guys. I thought it was a daytime flight. Let me just change it up. 
Oh, how many airports can you depart from? Every airport in the, on the face of the earth, dude. Even the very small little tiny bush uh, farm strips, they're all in the assimilation. Um, there's nowhere that you cannot take off from. See all these white dots on the map? These are all little airports. Little airstrips that you can actually take off from. The whole planet, every little white dot you see is an airport. I mean, check this out. Like, all these are airports. Some of them are little farm strips. And they're all mapped according to real locations. So, anywhere you want to go, bud. Where can, you, uh, where can I go to check out your Facebook? Um, so, it's actually the Facebook gaming page that uh, I'm streaming from. <coughs> if you just click on my name, it should take you straight there. And go to photographs, and it should show you in the photograph section, dude. All right, let's try that again. If I can find it, dude, what's what's going on? Here we go. And I'll just change that out. Six sixteen, and it's pitch black in uh, Canada. What's the go? Yeah, it is insane. There's thousands, tens of thousands of airports. Um, I use Google Earth as well. Um, you can actually type in your address and it will give you a, a geographical grid reference code on where you are on the planet. You can drop that code straight, copy and paste into the simulation and it will drop the plane directly on your house. So there's nowhere that you cannot spawn in or fly to by selecting your POI which is your point of interest um, I like to plan my flights before I fly so um, I don't have to do it you know basically just kind of fly and work out where I'm going so I like to know where everything is before I take off Welcome to Montreal Airport. Just get this up. There you go. And then we got a follow waypoint. So we need to swing around and uh, go the other way. There we go. You live in the Panhandle. Absolutely clutch, dude. Beautiful part of the world, dude. I will definitely have to check it out. I'll make a note of that. Maybe we can do a flight there at some stage. Um, is it hard at first flying the simulator? Look, it, uh, there's a little bit of uh, learning, but it, you know, it's like anything when you first jump in. It's, uh, you are learning, you evolve with it, buddy. Hey, Roger, thanks very much for jumping in and giving me 50 stars, man. Thanks for your support, dude. Thank you very much. What a legend, man. What a absolute legend. Um, yeah, so you, you basically just um, have to evolve with it. I would, uh, my biggest uh, recommendation is if you're getting into the simulation, don't just jump into the big airbuses and think you can just jump in and fly it off the bat. Just start off in little bush planes like this. Get yourself familiar with the game. Get yourself familiar with doing a few landings and takeoffs. And then kind of work yourself up to faster bush planes, bigger bush planes. And then, um, and then give the, uh, the big commercials a, a crack. 
there's no reason why you can't do it. Um, I watched a few YouTube videos, and uh, you know, there's some really good guys out there that are actual real pilots and actually it's walk through everything water. with you. Uh, Pilot Cube is a very good uh, um, content uh, streamer, and uh, he's a real pilot that's currently uh, not flying because of COVID. So uh, he's spending a lot of his time uh, flying Microsoft flights and actually uh, talking through the uh, the real aesthetics of flying that particular plane which is really really cool right I'm gonna put here panhandle of I don't on my next stream, I'm not streaming tomorrow, guys. On the Thursday, it's a family night, so uh, my wife's got some very big meetings to do. So I've got to be on hand to to do uh, dad stuff. So, uh, but um, definitely I'll be on uh, on on Friday, and that's uh, maybe something we can tee up for you, brother. So it's like anything, you know. It you just got to learn. It, that's as simple as that, and it's quite easy to do as long as you're not rushing into it. You'll be fine. What's the worst that can happen? You can crash, right? Where's Dennis? Mount Royal is an affluent on island suburban town located on the northwest side of the eponymous Mount Royal, northwest of downtown Montreal, on the island of Montreal in southwestern Quebec, Canada. It is completely surrounded by Montreal. The population was 20,276 as of the Canada 2016 census. In 2008, most of the town of Mount Royal was designated a National Historic Site of Canada as a synthesis of urban renewal movements of the early 20th century, reflecting the influence of the city beautiful, garden city and garden suburb movements. The town celebrated its 100th anniversary hey, Zaru, in thanks very much for jumping in. Follow the pig. What a legend. Ooh, what a legend, dude. Thank you very much, brother. A little football pitch down there, a little soccer pitch. Beautiful. Update done. Okay, let's check it out. Do you want me to stop the stream? Let's go. Not stop the stream. Do you want me to stop the flight? Let's tear it up. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Um, so in that case. If we can change the weather, let's go Grand Canyon. Sorry, guys, we're going to cut that. I'll do that flight again another night. Um, I was just kind of buying a bit of time until he's done his uh, update. So let's tear it up, brother. I'm going to take the 3.30 out, okay? Let's do it. I'm sure we can work this out, chat. All right, let's go world map. I'm going to change aircraft. The extra 330 LT. Let's take that out. I'll bring my favorite up. The old Red Bull Racing. World map. And we're going to go Grand Canyon, yeah? Hey Brad, thanks for jumping in and uh, following the pig man. Welcome in. Hope you're having a good day, buddy. Right, let's check where we are going. Bear with us, chat. We've not done this before. This is a new experience for me, so we're going to try and get more than one pilot in stream. Um, here we go. Right, let's uh, select the location where we're heading to. And I think it was... Was uh, it Grand Canyon...
All right, we'll we'll start at this one. We'll start at um, KPGA Page Muni M U N I, and we'll do a flight. Was that the one that we were looking at before? I can't remember now. I think it was. Yeah, we're going to change it up. Yeah, we'll have a go, dude. Alright. Is that a big air airport? Oh, yeah, we can land here. Arrival. Okay, 45 minute flight, but we don't have to fly the full 45. We can uh, we can uh, adjust on the fly. What's this here? Ooh, a little landing challenge. Oof. Okay. Happy Canyon. All right, let's make it a rival here. All right, that's a 43. Okay, so uh, I'm going to change weather. Let's go. All players. Live players. Um. Andrew, how do I set this? Is it uh, all players or live players? And... I've not done this before. All players have to be visible. Will be visible if they have set their multiplayer settings to live. Okay, so set your multiplayer settings to live. And no air traffic. Yeah, that's no dude. I'll wait on the runway for you. And we'll set our... Uh, we're not going to do a night flight, bud. Oh, can I change the weather? I don't know if I can change the weather. That's the only thing, dude. That's the problem. All players, yeah. But I can't change the uh, the weather. It won't let me uh, change the weather, bud. So like I said, we might have to do a, another flight. Because it's uh, night time over there. We're not going to see crap. Any weather or time then. Yeah, it won't let me select it, dude. So if I go all players, yeah, all players are visible regardless of the settings unless they have multiplayer to group only. And then I can actually custom my weather now, can't I? So I'll custom that. That's perfect. There you go. I think I'm doing it right, chat. Yep, beautiful. All right. I'm going to go in, dude. So that's uh, KPGA. I'm spawning in. Let's go. Learning curve chat. Let's go. Let's try it out. That's it. So I know that you can actually send a friend request as well uh, to raise a pig and then once I accept that I can see when you're online and you can see when I'm online. So that's a good way of doing it as well because I don't know what your in-game name is. Kilo Papa Golf Alpha Traffic Razor Big 7 one taking off runway tree tree north departure. Yeah, no worries. Well, what I'll do is I'll just move over to the side of the runway and then once you spawn in, you'll spawn in next to me. Without stalling it. <laughs> Here we go. Let me just turn this back on. What is with me with stalling tonight? I'll take a note of that and I'll send you uh, a link after after stream.
Oh, there is a player up already. That's cool. Let me just see if I can uh, look for you now quickly. Um, add friend. Here we go. <coughs> So you should should get that, dude. So once you get it, just uh, hook it up. Invitation sent. Grand Canyon chat. Woohoo! I don't think I've streamed out here actually before. Yeah, no worries, dude. Okay, let's go. Let's get flying chat, let's go. the right place 1200 stars what a legend man thank you very much for showing the appreciation and uh, support and everything man what a ledge didn't expect that thank you very much man what a man thanks very much dude god I've got the best followers man I am stoked to have the best followers dude absolutely brilliant always good to see you uh, Stephen thanks very much for jumping in brother all right, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Come on, Andy, where are you, mate? <laughs> no pressure. All right, let me just sort out my... Uh... Let's get my uh, trim sorted. There we go. Dude, Stephen, what a legend, man. Everybody give a thumbs up to Stephen. Thank you very much, brother. All right, we're just waiting for him to uh, spawn in. Did you, did you get my uh, invitation? Yeah, what a legend, dude. Thanks thanks so much. Can't say it enough. <laughs> we'll, once you spawn in, we'll go check out the dam over here. And this is what it's about, man. If I can get some of you players actually in with me as well on stream, that would be excellent. And uh, there's some mods that I'll actually look at downloading where you can actually do uh, flight races as well. So we'll have to get something like that going. We'll do some low-level uh, flight flight races. Some real uh, low-level low stuff. Real go-clutch. <laughs> man behave yourself man do it what a legend 2235 stars boom man you guys are insane oh speechless sitting right here speechless i'm trying to fly a plane and i'm speechless <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. Wow, man. The support is unreal. Thanks very much, man. Holy crap. No, that's okay, dude. Loading the flight sim still. I'm going to go check out this dam, and uh, you'll catch up with me. Tell me when you're in, dude. No worries. Let's go check out this uh, canyon dam over here. Woof. Looking forward to this. Yeah, no worries, dude. I'm going to do that now. Holy crap, look at this. This is unreal. What a great little bush plane to, to do this in as well, hey?
Glen Canyon Dam is a concrete arch gravity dam on the Colorado River in northern Arizona, United States, near the Thanks, town Stephen. of Page. What a ledge. The 710-foot-high dam was built by the U.S. Bureau of Reclamation from 1956 to 1966. Stephen Cole, stop it, man! 1,220 1, stars, man. Sorry, 1,200 stars. Million acre feet. Dude. The dam is named for Glen Canyon. Thanks very much, brother. You guys are legends. A series of sandstone ledge. gorges now flooded by the reservoir. Lake Powell is named for John Wesley Powell, who in 1869 led the first expedition to traverse the Colorado's Grand Canyon by boat. A dam in Glen Canyon was studied as early as 1924, but these plans were initially dropped in favor of the Hoover Dam, which was located in the Black Canyon. By the 1950s, Due to rapid population growth in the seven U.S. and two Mexican states comprising the Colorado River Basin, the Bureau of Reclamation deemed the construction of additional reservoirs necessary. Contrary to popular belief, Lake Powell was not the result of negotiations over the controversial damming of the Green River within Dinosaur National Monument at Echo Park. The Echo Park Dam Darryl. proposal was abandoned due to nationwide citizen pressure on Congress to do so. The Glen Canyon Dam remains a central issue for modern environmentalist movements. Beginning in the late 1990s, the Sierra Club and other organizations renewed the call to dismantle the dam and drain Lake Powell in Lower Glen Canyon. Today, Glen Canyon and Lake Powell are managed by the U.S. Department of the Interior within Glen Canyon National Recreation Area. Since first filling to capacity in 1980, Lake Powell Absolute water legends, levels dude. have fluctuated greatly depending on water demand and annual runoff. Operation of Glen Canyon Dam helps ensure an equitable distribution of water between the states of the Upper Colorado River Basin and the Lower Basin. During years of drought, Glen Canyon guarantees the water delivery to the Lower Basin states, without the need for rationing in the Upper Basin. In wet years, it captures extra runoff for future use. The dam is also a major source of hydroelectricity, averaging over 4 billion kilowatt hours per year. The long and winding Thanks, Lake Powell, legend, known mate. for its scenic beauty and recreational opportunities including houseboating, fishing and water skiing, attracts millions of tourists each year to the Glen Canyon National Recreation Area. In addition to its flooding of the scenic Glen Canyon, the dam's economic justification was questioned by some critics. It became a catalyst for the modern environmental movement, and was one of the last dams of its size to be built in the United States. The dam has been criticized for the large evaporative losses from Lake Powell and its impact on the ecology of the Grand Canyon, which lies downstream. Environmental groups continue to advocate for the dam's removal. Water managers and utilities state that the dam is a major source of renewable energy and provides a vital defense against severe droughts. Unbelievable chat. Look at that. We've got a couple of funky cars down there that think they're in Back to the Future flying around. Look at them go down there like... So they have not uh, rendered in. They think, still think the road is... Um, it's shot from, from obviously satellite. So they, they think the road's down below. They actually haven't actually got the dam, or sorry, the bridge, as a road structure. So the vehicles aren't actually driving on the bridge. So that's going to be a fix, I would imagine, that they will be doing in Microsoft Flight Sim. Wow, that's unreal. Guys, I'm still speechless. I'm reeling in from all you guys with your generosity and stuff, with all the stars, man. I'm just like the most blessed, luckiest guy on the face of this earth. Dude, I just jump on here to enjoy putting content out there for you guys. Yeah, like five days a week. I just love coming on, chatting to you guys. You're all a bunch of lunatics, so you're in the right place because I'm a lunatic, and um, and just doing some absolutely awesome streams for you. And it just makes my day. And to for you guys to to give me stars, it's like just blows my mind, right? Thank you very much. Speechless. Andrew, how's it going, champion? Did you come in right? I hope he's going to be uh, joining in anytime soon. I don't know whether I have to add him on uh, as a friend. Let me just check quickly. Sorry, guys. Let me just see here. Connected. No, you're not on. Did you get my uh, invitation? Regardless, it should still spawn in anyway. It's probably still uploading. Okay, back to my stream friendly account. <laughs> Dude, I'm absolutely Brad. You know what? Be yourself. You know, I'm not 
gonna sit here and pretend to be something I'm not good. I'm straight down the middle, and that's what roughhouse brickies or builders we salt with the earth, as uh, as Paul once said. You know, um, you get what you see, and that's it. You know, and I've watched a lot of uh, streamers out there. You know, start, since I started getting into this, and there's some really cool guys, and I got no qualms in pushing a decent bloke out there. You know, I mean, some of them are doing really well. Um, <coughs> and you know a lot of this is uh, thanks to Scoobs um, for giving me the encouragement in his streams and what he's been doing for me to start doing it and watching other streamers like Pilot Cube and stuff like that really good guys and real down to earth um, genuine uh, streamers and then you get a lot of other guys and they give you a lot of BS you know um, they sell you something that's just uh, you know not real I don't know it's just that they're not authentic for me I'd rather someone be authentic and I'm just be myself so I'm glad you're enjoying the chat, really am. It just makes me want to push on and, and, and do more streams, right? Seven weeks in and uh, pushing up to nearly a thousand followers. It's nuts, absolutely nuts, guys. Love it. Tristan, how's it going? Arishu, what's happening, champion? Two minutes ago, thanks for liking the stream. All right, we're going to might uh, push on. Where are you, mate? Come on, Andy, Andrew, where are you? Let's go. <laughs> He's probably panicking. Sorry guys, we're just kind of flying around here, just um, just waiting for Andrew to jump in. What a legend. Yeah, no worries, dude. You know what? I watch Call of Duty streamers as well. You know, I quite enjoy a good game of, of COD Warzone. It's very stressful though. I come out of that game with PTS bloody D, I'm telling you. And I've never sworn at so many players in my life. Um, I don't usually get triggered on stream, but that game literally triggers me, right? Um, yeah, I kind of go off on that. Um, I do watch Average Dad. Um, I think he's an amazing bloke and also very down-to-earth, salt-of-the-earth kind of bloke. I love the average dad. He's a he's a great bloke, and um, yeah, absolute pleasure to watch him. And he's another reason, besides Scoobs, that made me want to uh, start streaming. I just enjoy people that are, are genuine, you know what I mean? And, and you know, just call it, call it as it is. And they haven't got any qualms about telling someone to piss off either, so... You stumbled across me yesterday. Thanks, dude. Man, what a legend. And I'm learning this uh, simulation. You know, it's um, it's it's really cool, right? How good is this? I did do a uh, COD stream once, but I failed. Mis well, I didn't fail. I was just crap. I, I'm still learning. I'm still what you call a noob, right? Oh, you know him. Okay. Yeah, he's a great streamer. He's a Mac. He's a Manchester boy. We're just doing a little bit of a flying round here, hoping Andrew's going to jump in and join us soon. Won't be too long. Once we get this teed up, then uh, any of the other, um, you know, followers that uh, fancy a little spin around, if they've got Microsoft Flight, we can uh, tee up uh, little little flights and stuff like. We can all do some flights together, which would be pretty cool. This plane is amazing. It's so agile. Really good for bush flights as well. Don, what's happening, brother? Welcome in, dude. Hope you're having a good one. Hey, Don coming in with the 500 stars. What a legend, Don. Thank you very much, dude. Thank you very much for all the support, brother. You guys are epic tonight. Unreal. Unreal. It's like my birthday or something, right? <laughs> Thanks, Daryl. All right. Um, do, do, do. Just trying to see. I'm just waiting for Andrew to jump in. Let me just see where else is uh, cracking up here. So we're going to do a little flight down the Grand Canyon. We'll go check it out in a minute.
Yeah, Call of Duty, that's another level. Some of the players are just so good. The only problem I have with uh, COD Warzone is the amount of hackers. I don't. I hate people that need to cheat to win. Um, to me, that is scum. I hate. I hate that. You know, people that put aimbot on games to try and get ahead and stuff like that. Why play the game? I would rather do it hardcore, learn the game, uh, blood, sweat, and tears, become good at the game. Um, and then uh, adapt and evolve uh, with it um, like average dad you know he went into the uh, Call of Duty Warzone not knowing a thing about it and now he's uh, he's an absolute fluid player um, he just makes it look easy he knows the map backwards and he's just really really good at it and that's just passion playing it day in day out and learning the game and evolving with it um, and I appreciate people that can do that these little punk asses that come on and put cheats on games to get ahead and win what is wrong with you? You need you need literally to look in a mirror. Yeah, the negativity. I just laugh sometimes. You know, as soon as someone uh, you kill them, they the amount of you know, the, I'd reckon seven out of ten people that react um, are very abusive, and it's I just laugh. I think it's hilarious. <laughs> I think it's absolutely hilarious. But, you know, that's not just that game. That's every game these days. And that's why I love flying this game, uh, Microsoft Flight Sim. I'm kicking back. I'm relaxed. Look at this. Oh, I can fly with my hands behind my back. How good is this? It's it's cruisy. You know, I'm engaging with you guys in chat, chatting about the simulation. Um, and uh, there's no stress. But you go into something like Warzone and it's just like triggered. <laughs> You'd still get destroyed if you had aimbot. Mate, I'd have aimbot, bloody side bot, upside down bot, up my backside bot, and I'm telling you now, I'd still get absolutely owned. Um, but I'm getting there. I think my highest was about four kills in a game, so... <laughs> I think it was like a, a bit of a fluke. Andrew, how you doing, buddy? Your name tag might be off. Right, let's have a look. Hold on, hold on, chat. Hold on, chat. Razor Pig 7-1. Hold on, I got a little notification here. Friend request accepted. Dude, you're you're all in, dude. Yeah, Druzy. There we go. Invite to group. Now look how easy. Is that right, Druzy? Yep, that's it. You have created a new group. Invite to group, dude. You're in. Group invitation sent, brother. Chris, thanks for following the pigmen. Welcome in, brother. How's it going? I'm just kind of like buzzing the air airfield here a few times, waiting for me man and me mother, my brother from another mother to jump in and fly around with me. Here. Yeah, another another one I enjoy watching is um, is it uh, Stone Mountain Mountain something or other? He's awesome. Um, he's uh, probably the biggest uh, Facebook streamer that there is. Um, and also uh, Tim the Tap Man, he just cracks me up. I just stumbled on these guys. Oh, here we go. He's joined my group. Woo! Finally, we got him in. How good's this? Where is he? I'm looking at that runway down there. I'm looking for you, brother can't see it yet so yeah he's really really funny and I stumbled on these guys I had no idea that I was ever going to be a streamer I never even gave it a minute's thought until the moment my computer broke down I was sat there like a miserable bugger right going what the hell I felt so lost right and then I ordered this um, this decent setup because I started watching uh, some streamers like Scoobs and stuff like that and I saw this Microsoft flight sim game and I thought man I've always been fascinated with aircraft and I love aviation and um, I just thought one day, bugger it, I'm going to invest in a decent liquid cool system, get all the bells and whistles, and uh, I'm going to give it a crack. But it took about two months for my system to arrive, you know, with COVID and all the rest of it. So I just spent that time running my very old Alienware and watching streamers. And that's when I stumbled on COD Warzone, and then I started having a brain fart. Maybe I can play that game. Big mistake, because I'm a noob. Um, but no, it was just, um, I like different content. Um, some of the other stuff that I run is War Thunder. I'm pretty big on War Thunder. I used to play that quite a bit. 
um, and uh, even Red Dead Redemption 2 that's pretty cool also a big problem with hackers and I'm not fussed what I what I run um, and uh, you know there'll be opportunities when I stream other stuff too so yeah it's it's pretty cool you know I mean the guys that are jumping in and watching my streams it's like it just blows me away that you know I'm it puts a smile on my dial that you guys are enjoying what you see um, I know I'm just doing square circles right now, <laughs> right now waiting for my, my my mod to jump in, but um, all good. Have you got me, mate? Have you? Are you ready? Where is he? I can't even see him. Ah, here he comes. Woo! You're in a 208. All right, let's go. I'll fly towards you. Looks like he's up. So this is technically the first time I've ever flown with a member of the uh, the, the face, Facebook um, community. That's that's bu brilliant. I don't know how far you are. Let's have a look here. I might pick you up on map. Where did you spawn in, dude? Yeah, but Brad, um, I'll run with anyone, man. You know, if you've got the simulation, dude, let me let me know, and um, I'm pretty cruisy. Oh, here he is. He's pretty close. Um, you know, there's I'm not one of these rules and conditions kind of streamers. I just roll back and just do what I got to do. I do flights uh, for myself, um, but then also I take recommendations from uh, you guys as well. You know, if you want me to fly over your house, uh, go and check a part of the world that you've seen, you know, that you missed due to COVID, and I've done that before. Um, and uh, we're all living in shit times right now, so if I can make you smile, happy days. I'm stoked. Um, <laughs> check it, here he is, trying not to crash into him, right? You head down towards the dam, dude, and I'll uh, back you out. Oh, you lagged backwards then. Saw that. Woo! There he goes. Nice one, brother. So, um, yeah, I normally do uh, a flight of my own and then uh, jump on board and do some flights for you guys too. Um, and I've said this before, it's not all about you guys spending your time jumping in and watching me fly. It's important for me to do the same and uh, take my time to uh, check out what you want to see. And I'm really, really proud of um, the way that this is going right now. And um, you know, I'm just like I said, I'm just being myself. I came home from work today. I wasn't even streaming, and I've got a counter that set and um, ten new followers while I wasn't even on stream. Right? How good is that? 10 new followers. That was unbelievable. I'm on your six, dude. Look at that. Pretty this thing hasn't got guns, right? War Thunder style. Ba -ba -ba. Be gone. <laughs> How long have I been streaming? All right, this is gonna knock your socks off. Almost got a thousand um, support. Uh, sorry, uh, followers, and I've been streaming for about just over six weeks, dude. Not long at all. Still learning involving with it. Just six weeks. Six to six and a half weeks. And if you want to see any of my hardware that I'm actually running this with, it's all on my Facebook gaming page. Go into photographs. Everything's photographed up in pictures. <coughs> Excuse me. Everything's listed out. If you're interested in seeing what hotel system I'm actually running right now, this is the hotel system I'm running. Uh, that's the X56 Rhino throttle. And um, you obviously have the joystick side of it that comes with it as well. So it's probably one of the best, um, not the best, but it's up there with the, uh, the top five, I reckon. You can fly this with more realism, obviously being if you want to be more into props, uh, with a yoke, uh, that would be pretty cool. Um, a lot of streamers do fly with yokes, but um, I do enjoy flying it with um, with stick and throttle um, because I do play a bit of DCS, which is Digital Combat Simulator. It's another game I play. It's not really a game. Anything that comes with a 500-page manual to learn the learn to fly the Hornet is not a game, right? Dude, that's unreal, Andrew. Nice one, brother. Oh, 
Oh, that's cool. Full keyboard manual at the moment, yeah. You know, there's no point rushing into it if you get the simulation. Just take your time and, you know, you don't have to go for the best. I just decided to uh, just put a bit of cash into it and, um, and get some really cool stuff. I'm running three monitors off the system as well. I'm running uh, two side monitors and a 32 curved 4K monitor. So it's like sitting in front of a cinema right now. The whole in front of me is just like one big screen, which is pretty cool. And it's uh, the refresh rate is just mind-blowing. The only thing out of my whole setup that does tend to give, get on my nerves is the internet speed. And that's only because I live in Australia. We don't tend to have the best internet over here. Sean, thanks for following the pigmen. What a legend. Welcome to the family, bro. Thanks for jumping in. Hey, just slow up your throttle. I'll come uh, on your left side there. See if I can get a nice screenshot. I think your uh, speed is, uh, yeah, you, you're actually, you're cracking on that thing. I'm struggling to keep up with you. Look at that Grand Canyon chat, beautiful. We'll have to do some more flights like this, dude. Yeah, where are you uh, uh, living, Brad? Are you in the uh, in Australia, or where? What part of the world are you at, dude? We struggle with MBN. Uh, we've got MBN over here on, in Australia. I've got the best uh, provider, which is Telstra. It's the actual best one that you can have. But I went to see them for a big, uh, better and bigger package. I wanted three times the speed, and I got a big fat NO. Um, they don't have the cabling to to run real high quality um, to where I am. But um, you know, my stream's pretty good. It does sometimes glitch out, which is a pain, but nine times out of ten we're pretty good right yeah I'm 152 you're burning me dude that thing's a beast I'm flat stick maybe I should have brought the jet out eh? <laughs> Look at that, beautiful stuff. And I can't believe that everything that you see is actually there in the world. Everything is is satellite imaged. Um, even the depth perception on the mountains and hills has all been worked on and currently being upgraded right now. Every time I turn the game on, it's being upgraded and updated. Yeah, um, slow down a little bit. I'll just fly next to you. I'll get, some, uh, get a couple of screenshots. That'd be nice. trying to do that with one hand I had to change hands to fly then just to get a screenshot <laughs> happy days that C208 is pretty uh, pretty good plane see I'm 8,000 feet this thing doesn't do too well at this altitude it um, seems a bit sluggish even for climb rate Just underneath you, bud. Look at that. I'm even. St I'm losing speed just trying to get up to you. Yeah, you can drop a little bit if you want. That's a cool plane, though. I do enjoy flying it. It <laughs> disappeared then. It's funny when you actually get too close, you actually pop out and then pop back in again. There you go. Must be one of the settings. How good is that chat? All right, let's have a look at waypoint. Um, we're probably not going to do the full waypoint. Let's go and see if we can uh, find a small landing strip and we'll take it down. But what we'll do is. Uh, Andrew, next time uh, when I stream uh, some bush planes, you jump in. I'll do an Airbus flight first or something like that, and then definitely more than welcome to jump in. And that goes for any of you guys as well. I think um, maybe four or three might be the max as far as rendering in, but dues, you know. 
I'm, I'm pretty laid back and it'll be good to have some of you guys fly around with me man on stream that'd be good enjoy that little uh, looks like a little runway to our left so we might uh, head down there Traffic rays orbiting 7120 miles northeast 8,900 feet inbound to land runway 15. Traffic 266, so this is 250 on us. 250 on the Spinner Market now, 266. Yeah, that's a cool aircraft. I love it. I'll have to do some push flying in that too. Maybe we'll go Jamaica. Trinidad and Tobago. Hey? We'll go and fly over and drop some eggs on Daryl. <laughs> Sitmo, how's it going, brother? Dude, after this flight, mate, I'm going to put my head on my pillow. What do you reckon? I would love to do that flight for you, dude. You know that. But it's getting uh, 10 o'clock is normally my off stream. And I've got a big day of meetings tomorrow, so I've got some shit to do. But um, yeah, absolutely American love to do flights for you, Sitmo, you know that? 2435, American Oh, he's behind me. There he is. Oh. Can't see, got a big head uh, board behind me. There he is, just behind me. Center EPS, uh, 9310 with you, 10.6 for 14,000. UPS 9310, Roger. Call me in level 210. Level 210, UPS 9310. UPS 9. Traffic beachhead arriving from the uh, southwest, west southwest, for left traffic. Two planes, brother? 26. Four AM there, so you gotta bounce. Brad, take it easy, brother. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for jumping in and coming and seeing us, man. Have a great night, yeah. See you in the future, for sure. I'll see you on the next one, my man. Traffic beach yet. So you off to bed or you just getting up for work? <laughs> Either way, have yourself a cracker, mate. Thanks for jumping in, brother. Good to see you. All right, Andrew, we're looking for the next closest airport here. Let's have a look and see if we can find some. Traffic, uh, legacy jet is 20 miles to the southwest, inbound for landing. Uh, looking for any traffic in the area, please advise. Kilo, Papa, Golf. Traffic is turning left downwind, runway 25, field. Contact You don't have a credit card, so I can't purchase a simulator. Dude! That sucks. Well, I'll tell you, talk about purchasing. I'm going to be looking at getting the um, brand new Spitfire come this weekend. So we're going to be testing that baby out. Um, so we're going to do ourselves some cool flights, maybe even do a Battle of Britain um, flight over the White Cliffs of Dover or something like that. So I'll have to tee that up maybe for the weekend chat. Dude, I'll tell you, this thing does not like altitude. I'm 9,400 feet and it does not like to climb. I'm probably going to drop down a bit, but... I cannot even see where the nearest airport is here. There's just nothing around. Welcome to the Grand Canyon, chat. Pretty barren out here, right? No, just off to bed. 
Yeah, you work nights. Hey, Brad, yeah, just take it easy, man. Sleep good, and I'll see you tomorrow, bud. Take it easy. American 559, flight 24 Nice one. Hey, Prince, how's it going? Thanks for following the pig, man. Welcome in, dude. What a legend. I'm just flying with my moderator right now. He's going to fly right over the top of me. I'm going to hold this steady. Here we go. Just throttle down. Whoa! Just off my right wing. Old Maverick over here, hey? Old Maverick. <laughs> I must be Goose. Or oh, Iceman. There you go. That's cool. At least uh, we worked out how to get uh, pl you know other players that into our um, same, um, same flight as well. So that's pretty cool. So in future, you guys, uh, be feel free to hit me up and uh, maybe we can do some flights together. All right, guys, I'm going to probably set it down just down here in the uh, on one of the roads. Are you up for that, Andrew? I'll probably do a landing on one of the roads down here. And uh, I need to be heading off uh, stream. But this was unreal. How cool was that? United 1479, contact center 133.2. 1479. Top gun, absolutely. Can you imagine that? Get anything southwest, uh, 2587, that's 260, descending 240. Southwest 2587, always center, register, center, maintain 10,000, the San Diego altimeter is 3000. Center, maintain 10,000, southwest 2587. Andrew wants to crash. Why do you want to crash, dude? <laughs> I'm going to try and set this down here in the bush. In the in the uh, rough terrain of um, the Grand Canyon. Oh, there's nothing out here, right? Southwest 2587, clear our jack, cross jack at 10,000 and 250 knots. Direct jack, jack at uh, 10,000 and 250 on the speed, southwest 2597. Looks like I got myself a wingman, right? Polaris 928, contact for approach on 128.1. 128, wind 1, stop, operate 28 minutes. Descending, good evening, coming of 784, descending, um, flight level 240. Alright, so 784, then I could have me descend via the Ola 1 arrival, except maintain 1 2000, the Palomar altimeter 2907. Descend via the Ola 1 arrival, except maintain 1 2000, uh, Palomar altimeter 2997, and the range of 784. Alright, let's have a look for a place to set it down. I'll just get a little bit of altitude just so I can scope it out. Southwest 451, with you out of uh, 8.5 for 13,000. Good evening. Oh, you're landing down there, buddy. Okay, no worries. 230, good evening. 230, Southwest 451. Let's see if you can get a good landing down, buddy. I'm watching. Dude, epic. Very nice. I'll see if I can land next year. Probably going to be a fail right here. Yep. Good evening, Blue 90 with you. Two, ten point seven point zero two three. Good landing, dude. That thing's a lot easier to land than this, I'll tell you. This thing loves to bounce around. Yeah, I'll come in the other way. I'll just change my trim as well. There we go. A little bit of my trim. Southwest 
Center, good evening, Scott. 5890, Descend in 240. Scott, 5890, Center, Descend via the Ola, one arrival, except maintain 1,000. The column roll altimeter is 2997. Uh, 2997, Descend via the Ola, one, except maintain 1,212,000. Scott, 5890. All right, well, I cut my engine out, chat, so I'm committed. Southern 451, for direct meatball. Thank you, direct meatball, Southern 451. Do a quick stop. Center, good uh, evening, Frontier 1194. Checking in out of 10.5, common via the set. Yeah, I'll put up next year. Back now for SoCal sequence and contact SoCal approach on 12435. Nice, good job, buddy. Southwest 2539. Okay, Tom. Uh, yeah, this is Frontier flight 1194 out of 11,000, common via the set. Frontier flight 1194, thank you. There we go, I just cut the engines out. Good job, bud. That was fun. That was good stuff. Enjoyed that. Thanks for the flight, dude. And thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to be heading off stream now, but and hey, guys, once again, what an absolute honor to be here and to stream for you guys and just enjoy the content. And um, yeah, just keeping it real and just kicking back. I hope you all stay safe. Yeah, that was a blast, man. I loved it. I think we teed up. We're going to have to do that more often and get some more guys in, uh, in flight as well. And uh, that's what it's about, you know. Um, and if there's anything, I'm still learning the simulation, okay? I'm getting pretty good on the A320 and stuff like that. If anyone's trying to get into the simulation, I am not a professional pilot by any means a stretch of the imagination. But I've learned a lot along the way. So it's stuff that you jump in or you want to know, I, I'm happy to show you or what I've learned. Um, and just to make it a little bit easy for you guys, I've done a good job. Absolutely clutch. So uh, tonight, thank you very much for all the stars, guys. You have absolutely outdone yourself i don't expect stars um, that's why i always set myself a very small total of a thousand i don't even expect to make that um which is um absolute clutch that you guys have absolutely spoiled me tonight and i'm blessed absolutely honored to have some absolute brilliant followers in my group and um, i just love what i do and uh onwards and upwards guys onwards and upwards you know we're approaching almost a thousand followers and um you know for me I'd rather have almost a thousand awesome followers than a hundred thousand average followers. And you know, it's not about quantity, it's about quality, and that's what I'm getting here. Guys, you guys are legends. Thanks very much. Stay safe, keep it real. Can't wait to jump on for the next one. I'm not on tomorrow night, but I will be on Friday night and I'll be probably running a bit late as well. Um not late, I'll be running later. I'll be streaming longer. Um so just take it easy, Dennis and Andy, uh, Andrew, Paul all you guys that's been in um have a good one stay safe be good see ya later guys